Dustin Diamond. Honestly, did anyone really think he would age gracefully? He do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drupal. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? I've been watching too much Nick Merckx at this point. Nick Merckx? How you say Nick Merckx? Whatever it is, but anyways. I, so I'll be back with another big buddy. Banker! You feel me? Listen. Now I'm saying. Today, we got a spicy reaction once again. I've been enjoying these reaction videos. Apparently, y'all been enjoying them too, because y'all be telling me, yo, we like the reaction videos. I've been getting DMs. I, I usually don't even get DMs on my videos. But people DM me talking about, yo, your reaction videos are funny. Or keep making them type of videos, man. So I guess I'm going to keep making them. I guess, I don't know what the heck y'all liking them. But I just be, y'all be thinking I be like gassing stuff up or trying to like over exaggerate. So I be serious. I just be talking what's in my mind when I be watching this stupid stuff. Like, um,. The video about the little kid or about the kids that be pregnant, like whatever the heck it is. But today we're gonna be reacting to these celebrities that was like famous when they was kids and then they got ugly and old or something like that. We about to react to it right now. We gotta see what the heck going on. Cause usually like when you're young and you get old, you're supposed to glow up, like get better looking. Like I've always like I, when I was when I was a little baby, I was sexy. Now was hold on, let me show y'all, cause y'all don't believe me. That's the thing. That's the thing. Y'all don't believe me. Man, look at this sexy mother sucker. Y'all see this man? This man is sexy as a mug, bruh. Boy, sexier than you ever seen. This is me as a little baby. Super sexy. And what did I just get? Even sexier as I got older. So, man, that's what's supposed to happen when you were a kid and you grow up. But I guess for these people, it did not work. Um, let me just remind y'all, because I haven't said it in a while. A lot of y'all probably think I'm cocky. I'm not. I'm not cocky. I'm confident. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? But we finna react to this real quick. But before we do... Joy.com sent my two third for me, but it up to $50. You know what I'm saying? We got some five do right designs for you. If you a waver, if you want to cover your ugly hairline, if you bald headed, if you trying to get waves, you need a do rag. So get a do rag. I got mad deals for y'all. Like I said, y'all can bundle up and say up $50. Or you can just buy two and get the third free. That's getting three for the price of two. You say, I'm trying to save you money. You feel me? Everybody eats. But without further ado, let's just get right into this. We may find all kids adorable and cute as performing on screen. Cat. However, some children What the crackhead? What? Okay. Why is, I ain't never seen hair, facial hair so prickly. That's the Home Alone kid? That can't be the Home Alone kid. I thought he was the same age as me. He not the same age. He's the same age as my grandfather. Stars have aged so horribly that you could not trust your eyes. This list showcases the 20 formerly cute kid stars who aged horribly in the long run. There's always this stigma that some child actors' careers seem to suffer once oh, they turn the from going on. kids to adults. Whoa, 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 what the heck was that? To suffer once they you scary, but this is scarier. This ain't the same person. Look at her nose, it got skinnier. Ain't no way, that's not the same person. They capping. This video about to be full of a bunch of cap. I already know. Kids to adult, and this list proves that. Get ready to know the top 20 Ooh. cute kids who aged badly. Macaulay Culkin. We all thought Macaulay Culkin was super cute. I did it. Outsmarted burglars who were totally attempting to kill him. We even endured watching him the second time when he got on the wrong plane to New York City. As Culkin got older, he aged badly each oh. year. He managed to snag Mila Kunis for a while there, but even she moved on to bigger and better things after he grew too scraggly. This child oh. prodigy became a rock star with a drug habit. It's a shame. Oh. He had a bright future in store for him as an actor. In 1994, he took a break from acting after his 15th film in seven years wanting a normal life he went to a private high school in manhattan amanda bynes that's a man i know this i know amanda bynes i know her. she starred as a cute kid in the nickelodeon series all that and the amanda all show that. before moving on to star in the hit wb series what i like about you in 2013 she was arrested at her place in manhattan for criminal possession of substance and was charged with tampering with Bro, y'all can't, y'all couldn't have let her get her hair together before y'all arrested her. Y'all got her over here looking like the Wicked West of the West, the Wicked Witch of the West, whatever the heck it is, the www. Know what I'm saying? Dot com slash crackhead. That's what she looking like. Evidence. Her mental health was deteriorating rapidly, and it showed all over her demeanor. Oh, she look got a little thick. Couple extra nicks. Is this after she got out of jail? 
Um, she started donning bizarre outfits and wigs to hide her face. She looked better Poor here. Thing. That's not Definitely, better. she belongs on the list of actors who aged badly. Jake Lloyd. I don't know who that is. He is the angelic cherub that played the part of Anakin Skywalker as a child in the Star Wars saga. Today, he has landed on the list of celebrities who aged badly and has long departed from Hollywood. In 2012, Lloyd explained that his decision to retire from acting in 2001 was due to bullying at school. As a result, he decided... He ain't aged badly. He just looks like a normal person that just like got older. He, you feel me? He ain't aged badly. He ain't look like the other people. He decided to destroy all his Star Wars memorabilia. On March 2015, police responded by Lloyd on his mother, Lisa Riley. In a statement to Indianapolis Metro Police Department, Riley alleged he arrived at her house and began verbally berating her. On June 17, 2015, he was arrested in self... Okay, I spoke too soon. Well, he just looked like a, a, a criminal now. Like, he just looked like he, he's just doing stuff at this point. But he, he still aged like a crap, like the other people, crazy. North Carolina, under the name of Jake Broadbent for reckless driving. Lindsay Lohan. The adorable redhead with the cute freckles that we saw in the parent trap has transformed herself into a plastic. Oh, teeth! Ooh! Psst, brush! Police! What is that? Ain't no way you went to the red carpet with all this stuff all over your teeth. You ain't never heard of veneers, man? The heck wrong with this lady? I know she got money for veneers no matter how long it's been. She's she been on TV. She didn't no, no, ain't why are you smiling? If I had like this stuff all over my teeth, I'd be like this in every picture. You feel me? Like what the heck is you smiling for? Your breath probably stink like a mug, man. I ain't even finna hold you. Your breath probably stink like a mug. Endless focus. Oh, why would y'all do that? Celebrity Lohan's life and career ran off the rails starting in her disastrous year of 2007 when she was twice convicted of drunk driving, once for cocaine use, made three trips to rehab, and served an 84-minute jail stay. Lohan, who considers herself an expert on rehab facilities, indeed aged horribly. <laughs> why did they already roast roasted like that? It's about aged horribly. Age is the worst. They're super ugly now. Sean Astin. Ah, uh, Sean Astin, the actor from The Goonies. The Goonies. Astin played the lovable, dorky Mikey I didn't know that was who ran around with his inhaler and braces. In the early 2000s, the actor seemed to cement his legacy by starring in the Lord of the Rings trilogy as Samwise Gamgee, the hobbit who follows the same dude as he tries to destroy a ring. Even though he is still considered Hollywood royalty, Aston does not look the same way he did in his youth. But that's okay, he's still a damn good actor. It's, he look regular. He ain't aged badly. Lark Voorhees. I remember her. Remember rushing home from your own awful reality of middle or high school in order to catch up with Zach Morris and the rest of the Bayside High gang on Saved by the Bell? She was always wearing the latest trends, which seemed to match her sassy personality. However, if you were to see her in real life today, you'd end up doing a double take. Hey, don't play that. Do not play that. Wait, 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 wait. Do not play that girl Which like that. To match her wait a second, wait a second, wait a However, second. However, if you were to see her in real life today, you'd end up... Okay, don't play her like that, man. This is just some bad makeup. But her facial, she not ugly. She didn't get ugly. She looked different, of course. She looked older. Why does she... The narrator is roasting. She, the narrator, they're, they're literally roasting. She's talking about some, you would take a double take. Like, what? She just got some bad makeup on. Her makeup is very ugly here. But... She not like stupid ugly, you know what I'm saying? End up doing a double take. While there have been rumors surrounding her appearance, her mom claims she is bipolar and sources say she has lupus. Lark has never confirmed them. In fact, the 41-year-old who has aged badly has gone out of her way to deny such claims in interviews that just left the audience even more confused. Corey felt Wait, pause real quick. This girl right here, she looked just like the, the girl from, uh, what's the one show? Um... With the Beverly High, um, with, with, uh, what the, Coop, with Coop, from All American, some, this, this, um, All American, um, what is her name, what is, I'ma find it, I'ma find, let me find this real quick, hold on, I'm finna find it, y'all give me a second, we, all oh, right here, Jeffrey Maya, whatever the heck her name is, man, tell me this don't look like her, tell me it don't look the same, bro. Tell me they don't, Anthony, put two pictures up right there them both. Tell me they don't, they look the same. They the same lady. They gotta be the same lady. Is they related or something like that? They gotta be. 
for anyways let's just finish this but they related they gotta be that just left the audience even more confused Corey feldman he was one of the it Corys of the 1980s he made us laugh at the goonies stand by me and the burbs freaked us out with the lost boys and even made us endure his ridiculous singing voice feldman was the ultimate dude type of guy but it didn't hold over well oh, oh, oh what the heck is that why his lips caving in? Where his top lip at? Where is his top lip at? This is not the same person. He just, it's like a girl. It's like a girl. Ain't no way. I'm an adult. Drugs entered the mix in the early 90s. He attempted on multiple occasions to reboot his career, but would always end up fall. Where is his top lip? Where is it at? It is gone. It's hiding from everyone. Even himself. Is it like bending inwards or is it just like not there? Do he put like chap do, do he have to wear chapstick? I'm just this is serious questions. I'm saying does he he where does he put the chapstick on his mustache? Huh? Falling flat on his face with each and every attempt. Angus T. Jones. I've sat through more than a few episodes of the IQ stealing two and a half men. It's not something I'm proud of or ever will be proud of. Actor Angus T. Jones played Jake Harper, the dim-witted son of John Cryer's character, Alan Harper. All three of those idiots lived together in a Malibu beach house and lived season to season running off ironic fart jokes and easy toilet humor. But growing up didn't serve him any better. He was still portrayed as an immature dummy on the show. These days, he looks like he belongs in a tiny cabin in the woods, angrily writing hate letters to the government. Why is he roasting? Whose lady is why is she roasting? You just like a regular dude that got old, man. Why is she flaming Zachary people? Zachary Ty Bryan. Be honest, if you were a middle school girl in the 90s, you didn't tune in to watch Home Improvement for the older brother Brad Taylor, played by Zachary Ty Bryan. Poor Zachary, always overshadowed by his little brother. He moved behind the camera and began producing back in 2008 and went on to raise his own family, which probably works out great for him. It's hard to think that Brad Taylor would... They look the same, he ain't. Let his body go so much since that improvement character was so stinking vain. Jeremy Miller. Wait, that's Ben Seaver from Growing Pains? Talk about going through a major growing pain yourself there, buddy. <laughs> Yo, what is lady spazzing on him for? She the, she the most fire roaster I ever heard in my life. She talking about... <laughs> Do you know what she said? Ben Seaver from Growing Pains? <laughs> Talk about going through a major growing pain yourself there, buddy. Miller went on to star in an episode of Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego and Family Guy. After that, much like Zachary Ty Bryan, Miller played no further roles in any shows or movies. Instead, focused on raising his own family. He did reveal that he started drinking alcohol by the delicate age of four and suffered Oh, whoa, 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 four. Whoa, 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 that's not possible. That is not possible. From alcohol abuse for years following. Luckily, he was able to obtain help and become a spokesperson for Fresh Start Private Management Inc., which is a rehabilitation center that helped him kick his habit. Clint Howard. Oh. Young Clint Howard started his career the exact same way his big brother did, by starring on The Andy Griffith Show. While Ron, now an aged kid, was the main child actor on the show, Clint appeared in five episodes as a toddler. After that, the younger Howard would go on to be that one guy you see in literally everything but can never remember his name. Even Kevin Spacey was one before he finally broke out of the supporting actor mold. Howard not only did TV, he jumped into some pretty big budget films as well, but always as a bridesmaid, never a bride. MTV recognized him and his screen achievements and awarded him a Lifetime Achievement Award back in 1998. Austin St. John. If you belong to the 90s, you'd never admit to actually watching that dang Power Rangers show. Their uniforms were hideous and cheaply made, and they switched up actors every other year. Okay, I used to like Power Rangers. Power Rangers Mystic Force, if y'all know about that, yeah, sir. I used to have the wand, the, the phone wand, and I used to be like, Power Rangers, girl, like, I used to be that dude. You know what I'm saying? I, what's wrong with Power Rangers? 
Anyway, actor Austin St. John, a child star who aged horribly, was apparently Why the best for a couple of seasons. I'm sure he looked all great doing high kicks in the air to some people, but apparently not to the producers of the show itself. He was eventually replaced by Steve Cardenas and played the Gold Ranger in Power Rangers. These days, he's starring in short films and hiding from the public. You know, you know this man is not hiding from no freaking public. This lady is, well, who was this lady? She roasting for no the reason. Olsen twins. Stars of the small screen from their earliest childhood, you could simply eat the Olsen twins. Yo, what in the pedophilia? Yo, this, yo, this pedophilia, yo, what the heck is up with this lady? This lady is tweaking. Who, who's marrying this thing? What talking about eating kids? What the heck going on here? Over today, between anorexia, plastic surgery, and overuse of Botox, the two blondes will never be the same. Both Olsen twins shared the role of Michelle Tanner on Full House for the entire run of the series until it ended in 1995. Mary Kate and Ashley were successful by producing multiple TV and film projects. They look when fine. They, they look okay. Their jointly owned company, Dual Star, made them millions at a very young age. Frankie Muniz. He oh, I know what he looked like now. He an Emmy Award and a Golden Globe Award, but that was about it. In 2003, he was considered one of Hollywood's most bankable teens, but then he decided to put his acting on hold while he focused on open wheel racing. According to People, the actor has endured several concussions from competing in the dangerous sport, and in 2009, he suffered a serious car crash. This ultimately led to two mini strokes, one in 2009 and one in 2012. As a result, he has experienced crippling memory loss. He looks perfectly fine. He didn't age bad. He just, he wanted to be a racer. He didn't want to be an actor no more. Haley Joel Osmond. We cried along with the young Haley Joel Osmond when he saw dead people and helped actor Bruce Willis revive his career with The Sixth Sense. He was so damn good in that movie, you'd assume he'd move on to have an incredibly satisfying career in Hollywood. I thought there were so many Oscars in his future. Little did I know he would grow up to look like the pudgy rat in a low-budget mob movie. <laughs> what? Man, why is this lady coming for these people? A pudgy rat? A pudgy rat. That's what, yo, man, who's, bro, whose lady is this? Who is, why is she spazzy right now, man? She just firing everybody up for no reason. After Sense, he kept up his adorable precious child routine with artificial intelligence, secondhand lions, and pay it forward with Kevin Spacey. But after that, he sort of fell off the planet. At least that's what it seemed like, since he kept taking smaller roles in no movies and no TV shows. These days, he's starring in low-budget television shows. Charlie Corsmo, an actor that you may or may not remember from the film Hook. Charlie Corsmo played the oh. role of the young boy. I remember this movie. I used to watch this movie as a kid with my parents. Hook, it's like, it's like, it's, um, what's the one dude that didn't want to grow up? The one Disney character, um, pirate? No. What? Peter Pan, Peter Pan, Peter Pan, yeah. Today, the ex-actor has changed his career and become a lawyer. What Corsman the heck? was born in Fargo, North Dakota, the son of Deborah Ruff, an educational psychologist. Corsmo's acting roles included the kid Tracy Jr. in Dick Tracy, Siggy, the son of Richard Dreyfuss' character in What About Bob, and Jack Banning, the son of Peter Pan in the 1991 film Hook. His final film role until 2019 was the supporting character William Lichter in the 1998 film Can't Hardly Wait. Dustin Diamond. Honestly, did anyone really think he would age gracefully? He why is she flaming like this? Did anybody think he would age? Why is she spazzing on these folk, man? This is a roast. This is not a, a video. This is a roast. What the heck going on? Honestly, did anyone really think he would age gracefully? He aged horribly. He was always trailing after bestie Zach Morris or wagging his tongue at Lisa, who he followed around like a little puppy. Something we all could have gone three lifetimes without knowing. Back in 2006, he directed and released his very own tape titled Screech, Saved by the Smell. He moved on to reality TV with Celebrity Fit Club and Hulk Hogan's Celebrity Championship Wrestling. He then wrote a book named Tell All about what went on behind the scenes of Bell and of course pissed off all his former actor friends. Danny Bonaducci. While some child actors grow up to be less than attractive, Danny Bonaduce managed to be downright scary when he entered- Oh my days. 
Why is she, yo, she's spazzing. She is tweaking on these folk. She is going stupid on these folk. In adulthood, the actor played Danny Partridge on The Partridge Family, which shot him head first into fame. Since he was pretty much born with a face made for radio, that's exactly what he did. He has hosted his own show in Chicago called The Danny Bonaduce Show on the Loop from 1994 to 1996. Bonaduce also happens to be an ordained minister as well, but to be frank, who isn't these days? What is this lady? What is this lady talking about, bro? Honestly, what is this lady? This lady is talking. What is wrong with this lady, man? She better not make a video about me. I'm finna get to find her stupid self. Taryn Noah Smith. After Home Improvement ended, Smith revealed that the moment the series wrapped, he knew he wanted to quit acting. Smith certainly has done other things, trying his hand at numerous different ventures. Being a vegan for the majority of his life, Smith founded Play Food, a food company solely for vegans. After that didn't really hit the ground running, Taryn, who aged horribly, then... Taryn, who aged horribly? She could have just said Taryn. I, this is ridiculous. He became an installation artist for big events like Coachella, telling that he made temples out of trash. Eventually, Smith would move on to help his dad build energy-efficient water purifiers that are now used overseas by military forces. Edward Furlong. Before we begin, click that like button to inspire Man, go to the video, Also, bro. subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired Play the by video, this bro. Type of star. But struggles with drugs, alcohol, wait. later two child star was set to become a major star. Wait, 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 what are we talking about? Let me... I was trying to skip past this and I kept skipping too far. Fact. This Terminator 2 child star was set to become a major star, but struggles with drugs, alcohol, abuse, prison, and rumors of underage sex destroyed his chances. He was picked up from obscurity in 1991, aged just 13, to become a star in one of the decade's biggest blockbusters. He's admitted publicly in court that he's completely breaking. According to IMDb, Furlong only starred in one film in 2015 and hasn't had a th That crackhead is him? Okay, he looks pretty bad. But other people, it wasn't that bad. Theatrically released film in 10 years. Despite this, Furlong is still believed to be a talented actor, yet terribly aged celeb. Okay, he did age terribly. I'll give you that lady. They, that lady, this, why does he have three buttons on his zipper? I ain't never seen three buttons down there. He just look homeless. I don't know what the heck she eating either. But he look homeless, he wearing her shirt. Liberty. What are your suggestions for these type of kids? I suggest I, I suggest you stop being so brutal to these people. Let me see what the comments saying. Um, most of them didn't age horribly. They just age as a passage of time, which is invaluable in all of us. Facts. Horrible, my God, they age perfectly. Most of them age perfectly. You're way too mean to these people. I'm like for real, man. For real. They, she's so mean for no reason. She's just a bully. Freaking stupid. Anyways. Y'all let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. Y'all think these people just were aged horribly? Actually, forget about all that. Let me know. Somebody please explain to me in the comments down below why the heck she was spazzing on all these people. Why did she just start spazzing and talking about something? Yeah, he looked like a, a, a rat. She over here talking about he crackhead. Who would have thought? I mean, what does it say about growing pain? Something like that, bro. This lady was brutal. She was coming at them with, with the intensity. You know what I'm saying? But that's the end of it. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like right now. Before you dip out, Dre.com, I'll say my two, third, three, my lump six, up $50. Listen, cop yourself a Dre, it's gonna be worth it. Cop yourself two of them. You'll get a third, make a bundle. you get more of them for less of the money. You know what I'm saying? But if you guys want me to react to something that you personally think I should react to, Instagram over there at Dre underscore, DM it to me and make sure it's fire. Make sure the reaction that the video is fire. I do not want to react to no boring stuff. But if I react to your thing, I will shout you out in the beginning of the video. You get yourself a little clout. You get yourself a little whatever the heck you want to get. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'ma see y'all out. Dang it, out. Yo, C3, so fly, hop out.